Can you prove angle CAD equals 46 degrees? This is the same as proving the alternate segment theorem. And find angle ACD with reasons. Press pause to try or continue for the solution. Start by drawing the radius ED. Then angle EDY equals 90 degrees. Because a radius and a tangent, which meet at a point on the circumference, always makes an angle of 90 degrees. Therefore, angle EDC can be calculated by subtracting the 46 degrees from 90 degrees, which is 44 degrees. Now draw the radius EC to form an isosceles triangle CED. The angle DCE equals angle CDE, which is 44 degrees. Give the reason. Either triangle ECD is isosceles, or EC equals ED equals the radius of the circle, or both. Now calculate the third angle of the triangle, angle CED, which is 180 minus the sum of the other two angles, which is 92 degrees. And give the reason. Angles of a triangle add to 180 degrees. Therefore, angle CAD equals 46 degrees. 92 degrees divided by 2. Calculated using the circle theorem rule, the angle at the circumference is half the angle at the centre when subtended by the same chord. This completes the proof. Angle CAD equals 46 degrees. The final part of the problem is to find angle ACD. To do this, it is useful to use a simplified sketch with angles of 110 given and 46 degrees proven. Using the circle theorem, which states the opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral add to 180 degrees, angle ADC can be calculated. So angle ADC equals 180 minus 110, giving 70 degrees. Record this on the diagram. Using the reason that angles of a triangle add to 180 degrees, angle ACD can be calculated. Angle ACD equals 180 minus the sum of the other two angles which is 180 degrees minus 116 degrees, giving 64 degrees. Therefore, angle ACD equals 64 degrees. You might be interested in video Circle Angles 2, which shows how the angle at the centre of a circle is twice the angle at the circumference when subtended by the same chord.